Hello everyone, my name is Scott C. Ware, and of UFO Sightings Daily, and as you see there is some kind of UFO object that disappears when it's going through the blue area, reappears when it comes through the cloud. Do you see it right there? This glowing object right here with a trail behind it? The International Space Station is following it with the HD cam right now. Uh, this is a close-up of it. This is not full screen. I'm not showing full screen because uh, you won't see this tiny, tiny little dot. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to take just this little area of the screen. It disappeared again. It went into the blue area somewhere and is gone. It'll be visible as soon as it hits the clouds. There it is. You see it's making a trail through some of the clouds a little bit. You can see it has a uh, some kind of uh, visual effect behind it so you can see it is leaving some kind of trail of some sort it is invisible as soon as it leaves the cloud look at that did you see that invisible there it is there it is it's back really extraordinary uh, i've never seen this before and i thought i'd share it with you this little object i was wondering why it's invisible right now guys uh why would nasa space station be looking straight down there has to be a purpose and I saw this this UFO shooting through the clouds. There it is again. Okay, if you can't see it, I will circle it with the cursor right here. That thing is really far away, but it's going through the clouds. It's using the clouds as a cover, using the clouds to hide in. Whenever it seems to hit a cloud, it becomes visible, which is normal of a cloaked vehicle, believe it or not. When a cloaked object hits clouds, the clouds have to bend around it, making it more visible than it normally would be. And you can see it really good right now. It's right here. It's moving through the clouds. Right in here. has a slight reddish tint, probably from the angle of the sun, but normally a white appearance, white or gray. Looks like a disc, tiny little disc. It seems to be rising. I mean, going up to the top part of the screen. It was lower earlier. There it is. You see it really well right there. Flickered, it's flickering, still there though. There it goes. Very, very cool. I've never seen this before. Uh, this is June 13th here in Taiwan. It's a Monday, uh, which means it's um, June 13th, Monday morning in America. Oh, there it is. Hard to see now in the white cloud, but it's there. I'll circle it with my cursor right here. Do you see it with the trail coming behind it? I don't like to circle it too much with the cursor. It really gets in the way of you seeing the detail, as much detail as you can see. The detail I see, which is now it's invisible again, which is weird because usually it goes through a cloud, it's visible. It's just gone. Oh. There it is, right there. You see there's a little trail behind it. It's easier to see when it goes through one big cloud, it went through many small clouds. You see right there, the contrail behind it, not contrail, I, I'd say anti-contrail. It, it's an empty space behind it, it but this slowly gets filled in. So you guys can see this. For some reason right now, it's very, very visible. Usually it's invisible when it gets to the blue area. That's not me, that's not my computer, that is lag of the International Space Station camera, I believe. Okay, kind of cool, very interesting catch. Uh, something I've never seen before, but I wanted to share it with you. Uh, right now you see a country is flying over. Um, 
I can't tell which country it is. It's just too close of a zoom. But whatever it is, NASA sees it too. NASA sees this object and they're keeping an eye on it, a very close eye on it. It got some lag again. Not sure if it's my computer or the space station. Could be both. Okay, so you see this UFO is passing over the land. There's no reflection of water underneath, so you know 100% it's not a reflection off the water. Uh, this is not a shadow. It's actually the opposite. It's, it's very bright and light. This one's higher up at a higher altitude where the clouds, the upper cloud atmosphere area is. And this object is now passing over a desert, which looks like part of Africa. But I could be wrong. So the fact that this is passing over land is 100% proof that this is a solid object. That NASA is following it. They're keeping it in the middle of their screen. Now what I'm showing you is a screen on top of their screen, but I'm showing you just a little section of the screen. If I showed you the full section, nobody's going to see it. Everyone's going to say, Scott, there's no UFO here. There's no UFO here. Well, there is a UFO there, but I'm going to just show you the small screenshot of it. I'm not going to show you the big screen because nobody will see it. Uh, you're going to need uh, to enlarge it full screen if it was otherwise. Even full screen, you won't be able to see it very well. I wonder if I could get this on my TV. Probably not. Pretty amazing. Got a little bit of lag here, a little jerking effect. Uh, you see those lower clouds there. There it is. Still see it. Still see it. It's entering the lower clouds right here. See it right there? There it goes. You see a shadow below the clouds? Don't. Did you see a shadow of the UFO? I didn't see it. Maybe it's just too darn small. I lost it again. Maybe you could see it. I don't see it. It looks like, yeah, still there, still there. NASA is still following the UFO. Why are they following it? Number one, they have to make sure this object is not gonna hit them. Number two, this object is matching speed with a space station. Okay, is somewhere right about here. Did it go under the clouds this time? Oh my God, no, nope. yes, it went under the clouds. Well that, I've never seen it go under the clouds before. It's gone. It's just gone. I don't see it. Do you guys see it? It has to be here. Why would it go under the clouds? It's never done that before. Okay. I can't really tell where it is. It should be in this area here. Um, it looks like it's gone below the cloud cover. So I guess that's it, guys. Well, thank you for checking out my video. This is UFOSightingsDaily.com. NASA's keeping a close eye on some UFO following the space station at, I believe, the space station travels about uh, 30,000 kilometers per second. Pretty amazing stuff, isn't it? Okay, well, thank you very much. I'll see you at UFO Sightings Daily.